I think uh, bull markets uh, bull markets are m- much more dangerous because I- if you buy at the top of a bull market, uh, it could be years before you can see a return on your investment. Uh, but like I said, I think you're mostly safe investing right now. Sure, we could go lower, but uh, I don't see us going much lower. Hopefully, most things in life, if not all of them, are cyclical. They go through cycles, and uh, crypto markets are are the same. So. This is a barrier and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have a, a bull phase. Hey guys, it's all Team Hi, my name is Kirill and today we're going to have a talk with Nuno Teodoro who is an experienced crypto copywriter and he's in crypto since 2017. We'll discuss how to behave in a bear market, how to manage your funds efficiently and many more. So give me your like, comment, subscribe to the All Time High channel and let's start. Nuno, how is it going? Good, good, Kirill. Wonderful. Uh, can you describe your experience, your background, just for us to understand better? Of course. Um, I started in crypto uh, in 2017. I've been working mostly as a writer, both for news outlets and also for projects who are looking for promotion marketing. I write blog posts about their projects. I also worked for some major news outlets, but as a, as a ghostwriter. I have I have some articles that they're not in my name, but they're published in uh, Crypto Slate and uh, Coin Telegraph. I also did a little bit of business development. I worked for customer support for Crypto Compare, a news article for Crypto Globe, and uh, now I'm looking to uh, do something different in the space beyond just writing articles. Sounds good. Uh, today we're going to talk about the bear market, and uh, in your opinion, what's bear market and why could it be dangerous? Uh, I've, I found your uh, question curious because I think uh, bull, marks, uh, bull markets are m- much more dangerous because I- if you buy at the top of a bull market, uh, it could be years before you can see a return on your investment. And if you pick the wrong coin, then you won't see any, any investment that, uh, return at all. So I think uh, bear markets are naturally uh, less risky and uh, it's normal Uh, most things in life if not all of them are cyclical they go through cycles and uh, crypto markets are are the same so this is a barrier and uh, hopefully we'll we'll have a a bull phase in i I think 2024 25. yeah which opportunities do investors have uh, on a bear market in your opinion uh so I I follow uh, some YouTube channels. One of them is uh, Benjamin Cohen. He's really good. He's not overly bullish or bearish. Uh, he's very balanced. And he says that uh, bull markets can make you money, but bear markets make you rich. So I think the greatest opportunity lies this year, not last year when a lot of people were in the space. Now that p- some people are leaving and new projects are coming out that no one knows about, but they'll be pumping in the next couple of years. That's that's where the opportunity lies, I think. Yeah, however, a lot of people just sell their crypto in the bear market. And uh, what do you think about the reasons behind it? Why do they do so? I think it's emotional. Uh, if you see the chart for uh, market psychology, people eventually enter in phases of uh, despair, uh, denial, anger. And I also think that um, we're not used to waiting much for anything nowadays. So people look to invest, but they want immediate profits. And when they realize that's not happening, they, they just give up. Or maybe they sell because they think it's going lower and they'll catch uh, lower prices if they sell in a bear market, but that's not always the case. And how can you actually uh, benefit from accumulating a lot of crypto in a bear market? Because, okay, uh, there are different opportunities, uh, by the way. For example, you can just buy it and hodl to sell on a, uh, on a new all-time high, but maybe there are also different ways to, uh, to receive profits from staking, from farming, etc. What do you think about it? Um, investing in tokens that haven't lived throughout a bull cycle. I think that's a good idea. So new tokens, uh, I'm not that big into DeFi, so, uh, I don't know 
much of what's happening. I heard about refi, which is regenerative finance. I don't know if that will be a trend, uh, but beyond investing and hodling, maybe what I would suggest is to try to identify trends that will define the next couple of years. So I think layer twos will be big. Soul bound tokens will also be a thing, I believe, but uh, they're not exactly, uh, you can't profit from them. You can't sell them. So yeah, I think, I think identifying trends is a good way to uh, benefit from the bear market. I don't know if I answer your question here. Yeah, for sure. What do you think, by the way, about metaverse, about play to earn? Is the new trend? Can it be? I'm a, I'm a big fan. I've been a gamer all my life. I'm a, I'm a bit of a geek. So I'm really excited about play to earn in the metaverse, but they're really underdeveloped uh, right now. The economic model for play to earn also needs to be tweaked and improved because uh, what happens is players at the top usually profit from new people coming in and it basically creates a, a, a pyramid skin of sorts. Games aren't, aren't fa fun as well. Uh, they need to improve a lot on that term. I think we should bring game developers in instead of us blockchain uh, natives trying to develop games we don't know much about. The barrier of entry is also uh, uh, a problem because at the height of Axie Infinity, you had to spend like more than $300, I think much more, maybe $1,000 to buy three Axies so you could play the game for the first time. So I think these games need to improve, give an option for players to start out for free, test the game, and then if they want to play for real, then they could invest knowing what the game is. I'm excited about the space, but uh, play to earn at the moment is not uh, not what I imagine. And I'm not playing games because they're, they aren't good enough. They don't uh, speak out to me yet. Yeah, I understand you. I agree with you, by the way. Let's see how it will develop. And can it be dangerous to invest in a bear market and why? I think investing is always dangerous especially in crypto, which is a really volatile uh, asset class. Uh, but like I said, I think you're mostly safe investing right now. Sure, we could go lower, but uh, I don't see us going much lower. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't think there's much. If you adopt the correct strategy, invest now and hold for the next two to three years, I think you'll be fine. Yeah. And how is it better to choose like the right project to invest? So I think... Uh, if the Ethereum uh, merge goes well and Ethereum becomes more scalable, it 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 will always depend. Maybe it won't depend on, on as much on layer twos, but I think a layer two block solutions like uh, ZK Sync, Polygon, uh, Optimism, I think they will be uh, big. Uh, I think the metaverse and play to earn projects will also uh, make a comeback. I see the central land and sandbox uh, remaining for the next bull. New play to earn games also. I can't name one out of the top of my head, but uh, the next wave of play to earn games will also be interesting. And just uh, other layer two, layer one solution, layer zero, like uh, Adam, Cosmos, and Polkadot. I think they are all uh, strong buys. And why is it better to invest in strong projects before I just started to talk about it? Well, your capital is safer on uh, the more established um, assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum. So if it goes lower, uh, it won't go as, as much uh, as, if, as if you bought another altcoin. Uh, if you buy Bitcoin and Ethereum, you're mostly guaranteed these coins will see all-time highs. Uh, other coins, you just you just don't know. It's It's a risk. So I think it's it's good to have a good portion of your portfolio on Bitcoin and Ethereum just to be safe and then add in some wild bets, if you can say it that way. Okay, uh, one more question about the strategy. Uh, are there any differences between the, the investment strategy on a bear market comparing with a bull market? What I would suggest is uh, maybe open more short positions during a bear market and uh, open more long positions during a bull market. Bear markets should be the phase where you're looking to buy, to invest, and bulls 
should be the time you're looking for the exact timing for you to sell uh, buyer's mindset during the bear and seller's mindset during the bull um, i'm sure there are other more complex and profitable strategies but from the top of my head that's just m my advice and what i'm going to do by the way are you mostly an investor or a trader an investor i i'm not a very good trader i like uh, patience and uh, mostly emotional um, control so I uh, any leverage position I um, tend to if I open up a leverage position I tend to watch the prices uh, very often and it uh, creates uh, disharmony in my life so I'm kind of staying away from trading and just investing long term for mental health sake. Yeah, the same because I was investing like I was trading actually back in the days in 2017, but yes, now I just buy and huddle. All right, guys, in the next chapter of our podcast, you'll know more about how to invest in the bear market. So check it right here. And also give me your like, comment, subscribe to the Old Time High channel and see you soon, guys.